China embraces blockchain, but not Bitcoin. So on October 28, 2019, Xi Jinping, the premier of China, announced his country would be seizing the opportunity and take a leading position in the development of blockchain technology. Bitcoin skyrocketed on the news. It closed the day up over 30%. Then, a few days later, the head of technology for the PBOC, that's the People's Bank of China, told banks that they need to start working on blockchain stat. So it's official. China is putting a massive amount of energy into blockchain development. The Chinese government considers blockchain to be like the internet in terms of its potential impact on the economy. Now compare that to what's happening in the United States. The U.S. Congress ranges somewhere between indifference to strong dislike for blockchain and cryptocurrencies. I mean, all you have to do is look at the way Congress reacted to Facebook when it said it was going to launch LibreCoin. They did not like it. So China is building the DCEP, the Digital Currency Electronic Payment System. And China will probably issue a stable coin as part of that and make its blockchain available to everyone in the country or everyone who follows their rules. So the plan is to get Chinese banks and giant Chinese payment networks like Alipay and WePay to adopt government-run blockchains and cryptocurrencies. So here's the question. Is this good or bad for the broader crypto market? And I think this plays out in one of uh, two ways. Scenario one, China freely allows its stable coins to be paired and traded with BTC and other cryptocurrencies. Now that would be huge. It would be great for cryptocurrencies broadly because you'd be giving a billion people access to ultimately a bunch of other cryptos. But the chances of that happening are low. Scenario number two, China restricts the usage of their government run blockchain or blockchains and only the vetted Chinese citizens need apply. I think the chances of that are high. China loves the blockchain because controlling your monetary system is hard, but it's not hard to control a centralized blockchain. So how will the central government control China chain and China coin? I think we can look at what China has done to their domestic video gaming industry as a potential model. So China's been worried about video games and their effect on young people for a long time. But up until now, they've nicely just asked video game publishers to make some voluntary changes. So restricting gameplay to problem gamers, gamers who are just playing too much. But now, they're getting serious. China's State Administration of Press and Publication, I love that name, just issued a decree. And it's a clampdown. A clampdown on video gaming for minors. Basically, anyone under 18 no longer can play at will. So in the largest video game market in the world, of $40 billion annually, there's a new set of rules. And what are these rules? Okay, first, there's a new real name registration system. All online game accounts have to be KYC. That means know your customer. And those account names in those games, they get referenced against a national database. So you can't lie if you're under 18. Second, there are now strict controls over the length of time minors can play. One and a half hours a day on weekdays, three hours on weekends, and no playing time between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. when lots of gamers play. So that's a real, real limitation. And third, there's severe limits on how much money a minor can now spend, around $50 a month. I think these new China video gaming controls are a useful framework for seeing how China will control its government blockchain projects. You've heard of the Great Firewall of China when it comes to internet controls? Well, welcome to the Great Payment Wall of China. If you like my video, please subscribe or watch some of the other videos we have here.